We'd like to dedicate this next video to Bob Cranshaw. We're not quite sure how we'd be able to manage to do it, Bob, but thanks for the suggestion. And if we do manage to pull it off, we'll make sure somebody videos it for you. We've had the red light's on. Okay. Ow. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I can't see the screen, so. Hello. We're moving on. We've God, been she's it, heavy. We've been here for 36 hours. 36 hours? Well, about that. But it was a bit stormy last night, inside and outside the boat, wasn't it? And no kicking off from you at all, none at all. And then no me storming off for a bit. See, un walk. unfortunately, as we've said before, we don't do sanitised videos. I can give you a list if you want. If you we want. don't do pleasant to each other either, do we? So we had a blazing row. Tom walked back to the marina and picked up his car and drove home and then came back again. I only remember to get my post. But that's real life, folks. Oh, and then I get, get this right. I just get in the car to, um, um, before I put the engine on, before he said then, and I check my, my text and it says, don't bother coming back. Yeah, that's real life. Like but I'm I say, here. if you want some sanitised ones, just send me a message and yeah, I'll, I'll give you a list. Is, right. He said to me when I got back, he said, why have you bothered coming back? My food was here. I go where my belly is. Anyway, we need to move. It's still a bit breezy, but we're running low on electricity. So anyway. I'm going to try this camera, this camera, this one. What the 360 technology as used by all the latest, apparently the new Mercedes yeah. GLC. You know that, that SUV? Yeah. That has it as well. Well, if Mercedes were adopted, it will be shit. I can't say that because I've got one. Right. I used to have a smart car, that was crap. Oh, bless you. So, you know what, we're yawning it, and now you're showing me. Oh, we're going to row again, I swear. That's I swear. the Bar Bridge. It's actually a Saturday today because we, we, we've we been out since Thursday. I keep thinking it's Sunday. No, it's Saturday. And we have noticed, I mean, it, it was rough last night. We have noticed a few more boats on the move, but they're all moored here. <laughs> Nobody's moving anywhere. Still. We've we'll been just told keep... by some good friends that that pub is amazing. It's really, really good, isn't it? I don't know. Well, yeah, apparently. Don't go in pubs. Well, oh, no, I, I don't. That's why I'm saying what I know. I have been told it's a little bit on the uh, pricey side, but we wouldn't know because. We did go in there w once, when, years ago, when we had no children. Oh, without Ethel? Yeah. I don't remember this. Yeah. Uh, I think there was me and you. There was a barmaid picking the nails. I thought that and was at the um, place in Oldham. No, no, it was here. Well, we've done it in the Shopify as well, but I don't think the oh, barmaid I was remember. picking the nails. I, I can tell you the story. We'd gone to, Chef, uh, to Manchester or Chester, oh, somewhere. Manchester, I think it was. He fell out with someone, so then we went there on the way back. I only threatened to chuck her in the canal. What, the homeless person? She was begging money off me. Yeah, but that's not why you threatened She threat She had a go at you, so you, you said, do you want to go swimming or something? No, I said canal's there, because we were in Canal Street. And then you shut it out. You clear off, you'll end up in it. Yeah. Not on a good day, anyway, Nobody got arrested. Nobody died. You know what I always say? It's a good day if nobody dies. Right, we're heading towards Hurlston Junction. We'll, we'll, we'll find somewhere to moor when we're 
we're on at 68% battery. So. When are you going to get rid of the air out your nose? It's driving me mad. And your ears. Oh, please don't do it while I'm driving. I hope some fishermen here. Right, we haven't got the kit. No, we've got some gardening shears. That's what I usually get my nose air out with. And cut. Just passing Hurlston Reservoir to my right, but um, you won't be able to see that. Oh, it'll be on the front camera. You're probably not interested either. I wouldn't be. It's a beautiful sunny day, but I can't see because I've got the sun in my eyes again. You're all right. I, I made a mess. Tom's made a mess or something. I better stop recording then. Status update. Tom's just checked the electricity. We need another shilling for the meter, apparently. But we haven't got any more shillings left, so we're going to have to keep the engine going. We're only up to 72.5%. Uh, roughly, we, we, I've, I've calculated since we've had the new batteries and everything's been recalibrated. 10% of the capacity of the batteries is about an hour's cruising so we've got another three and a half hours cruise if we want to get back up to 100 percent but we have noticed in the past that it'll be hovering around at about 90 percent and then when we switch the engine off it suddenly goes oh bingo i'll give you the lot now it's a mystery it's a very it's, it is a mystery if anybody wants to come around and have a look at our electrics give us a shout but uh Anyway, we're not in a hurry. Elston Reservoir. The foolhardy would turn right now and go on to the Langall. <laughs> but he'd only get as far as Badly Locks. Next. Status update again. It's, I think, the 13th of November. I've sorted my problem now. And a wasp's just gone bzzz. Well, I think it was going bzzz. You've sorted your problem? Yeah. What, divorce papers are in the post? No. I may as well say it. I'm an admin in one of the narrowboat chats. I, I accidentally blocked the wrong person. Same surname. Oh, dear. I've unblocked him. Apologised and blocked the new person. Yeah. Power's gone to his head, you know. No! <laughs> right, somebody asked me. It's a bit black over Bill's mother's. Somebody asked you. Oh, you're not interested anyway. No, but the viewer might be. Your mum. Well, if it's my mother, oh my God. Do you know, you've got to feel sorry for my mother, haven't you? She put up with me. Yeah. There's nothing else to be said on that subject. Well, I only went to stay with a friend for a weekend it, it, um, to crew and I never came back. <laughs> well, that wasn't me, by the way. No, that wasn't you, no. That was somebody older than me. Oh. He watches this, it'll be he, nice. He watches the channel. <laughs> Sorry. Hi, H. <laughs> anyway, next. We're what? just um, passing the junction. And I, I, I'm going to oh say, I may as well say it. Don't miss the Langolan. No. I would imagine one day I might actually hire I'll a boat route and toot. in Trevor, but I'm not taking my own boat that direction ever again. But it's living up to its name, it's windy. Well, when I say its name, it's not called windy, but it's living up to its reputation as being windy. For a laugh, should we change the post route so it says Langolan that way? We did that during the war. Probably not the right weekend to be talking about that, though, is it? Oh, no. sorry. How am I doing your side?
side. Basil! We should be alright because these bridges were made for wide beams. I'm going to call you Basil. Because you can get a wide beam as far as... Um, well, you thought you Nantwich. saw a wide beam this morning. Yeah, but I, I, my glasses were steamed up. And it's all the broken. Well, that's alright. I don't know how far we're going to go. And I've lost a part from my new camera already. I've only used it once. Get it's only the thing, it's a waterproof camera, you see. It's only the thing that keeps it waterproof that's, that's fallen into the canal. <laughs> I'm sure I can order another one off Mr. Amazon. Because don't forget, they earn threepence a month, those Amazon drivers. And cut. Getting a bit fresh. I mean, it's a lovely day. Go away, you know, it's so and so. It's a lovely day, but the wind's getting up. Oh, oh, oh. <coughs> Tom's just burnt his fingers on me breakfast. Oh, what's up? Nothing. Burning my finger. So I think we'll probably stop. Oh, breakfast, thank you. We'll probably stop near Nantwich if we can, if there's any room. If it's anything like the Bar Bridge, it'll be rammed. Oh, ow! This is not a pretty sight. Told you it was a there's moorings behind us on that side. A wonderful, love one. However, the only way to access it is across the canal. So they've, not doing that they've all got little rowing tenders. Uh, and if there was even pedestrian access, let alone vehicle access, it would be wonderful. But I don't think me and Ethel are up to getting into a little rowing ditch. Oh, that, I'd pay to see that, that'd be fun. But they, I can't remember what they're called, but they're there. Didn't you say Jack in a boat once? You tried to? Uh, well, he's he been on the Mersey Ferry. No, I meant little boat. No, that was my first dog. No, he, no we, tried with Jack. we did try it with Jack. Uh, oh, I don't remember. Uh -huh. I would like to get a little rowing dinghy with a... I, I'm going to stop recording now because we're going around the blind bend. me out. It's one of them used to be a bridges. It is wonderful cruising in autumn. We're, you know, wrapped up. Not fighting the heat. But you do tend to, we've just come through it now, there's a carpet of leaves. It's a bit, um, well, they love wrapping themselves around your prop, but a quick burst in reverse usually gets rid of it, unlike the t-shirts that were on there when we bought the boat. So, what we're thinking is, we're approaching uh, Nantwich, and if Bar Bridge was anything to go by, it's going to be rammed, so we're going to go through towards Hat Green, and find a mooring somewhere where it's a bit quieter for her ladyship to have a run around. I wonder what that was, it's a horse in a coat. It's over there. Hello horsey. I like your jacket. Marks and Spencers. Apparently not. That, that horse there doesn't shop at Marks and Spencers. Cut. We're 
doing one of those sphincter stretches not stretched sphincter that would be very unpleasant but there's no more ins down here listen my mother don't want us saying bottom clenching anymore oh. probably annoyed her oh, oh she said we, we might have said it quite a few times oh you did I mean. well we've got to go over the aqueduct and that's going to be windy and then oh, I'm going to turn off strategically Well, there's no room at the inn in Nantwich. And we've just seen a dog this big. Yeah. Pick a knees? Pick a chap. I don't know. It was, know. It was this big and it looked like a guinea pig because it was only 15 weeks old. And Ethel wanted to play with it. But I don't think it was robust enough. Anyway, we're going through Nantwich and find somewhere I didn't want to stay here, I don't know why, I, I can't see why I didn't stay here. Yeah, we can always adjust it. Despite what we said, we have stopped in Nantwich. What? I'm just telling your mum. So, we're going to have a nice cup of tea or something. Oh, can you put the fender back? What did he do? He let his dog go up to Ethel and he's not good with the dog. Well, he's another, he's another one I've got to... 